Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you the Sony Xperia Z. It's fresh from the uh, CES Electronics Show in Las Vegas and it's Sony's brand new flagship because of its uh, five um, inches big display and it has for the first time full HD resolution. So that means we have uh, 1080 pixels over here and uh, 1920 pixels over here. So you have an extremely uh, density of the pixels of that screen, as you can see over here. And we have uh, 443 PPI. So to compare it, um, to the uh, all the other um, uh, devices on the market it's uh, more than 50 or 60 percent more pixels per inch over here on the display so uh, it should be the sharpest display um, at the moment um, on the market but we come to this later on first let me uh, introduce the um, uh, device itself because it's extremely be beautiful it reminds me uh, to the um, nexus 4 with this um, mineral glass um, surface over here and in the front uh, the same and it's very sleek it's just um, 7.9 millimeters and the weight is 145 grams and as you can see uh, compared to the Samsung uh, S3 it's a little bit um, bigger over here but not brighter so in the hand it's almost uh, the same um, feeling that um, over here so uh, uh, it's, it's good to hold in the hand and it's very um, comfortable uh, and in addition um, it's uh, IP55 and IP57 so it's resistant uh, to water and, and dust uh, but you have to take care because you have lots of slots over here. This is um, the slot for um, the uh, headset. Uh, on the other side we have, let me take this out, um, this is a slot for the micro USB. And here we have uh, the micro SD slot. So yes, you can adjust the um, uh, internal memory and it's, uh, it's accepting up to 64 gigabyte over here. Internal memory is uh, 16 gigabyte and in the um, um, free of that around about 12 gigabyte. Um, on the other side, this one over here, this is a slot for the micro SIM. And as you can see, it's um, all with uh, rubber over here. So you have to um, take care that you're closing it carefully. Um, and this one is a little bit uh, tricky over here because you have that little... Uh, device it's it's plastic and a little bit furry but here is the a micro sd card uh, comes in over here and uh, goes this way all right and here we go this is the um, uh, on off standby volume and that's all 7.9 millimeters 71 and uh, 139 millimeters are the sizes so it's really the same um, leak like the uh, HTC One X Plus and the Samsung Galaxy S3 as you can see and a little bit thinner. All right, let's come uh, back to the uh, display over here and to the other features. As you can see it's um, uh, this typical uh, Sony user experience with uh, these um, uh, start uh, screens over here and the typical menu so you can have, uh, have your uh, icons alphabetically sorted or your own um, uh, sort over here and that's all uh, we, we um, know from Sony it's Android 4.1 so if you want to have uh, widgets you go like this and um, uh, pull them over here whatever you want you know what I mean? Okay, here we go. You know that stuff. That's all the same. Nothing different. But the processor is uh, very um, interesting because it's a quad-core processor and it's a Snapdragon S4 Pro with 1.5 gigahertz and 2 gigabyte RAM. So we have double the amount of, uh, inter of, of, of RAM than normal. And especially this, uh, exactly the same uh, configuration you have on the Nexus 4. And this one was very quick in the benchmarks, one of the quickest at the market. So I hope that the Xperia Z will be that quick too. So this is a typical gamer device. Uh, I guess you have um, high performance CPU, uh, a big screen, high resolution. That would be great. 
And uh, on the other side, you have a 13 megapixels camera, videos in full HD, of course, and it's a new sensor. Uh, Sony calls it Xmor RS, and it shall make a um, lot more better photos, especially in, in bad um, light conditions. And in addition, there's an, uh, um, what is it called, an, um, super plus auto mode, whatever. So if we want to, uh, this uh, automatic uh, mode will uh, activate HDR and this um, uh, suppression of the, um, of, the, of the pixel colors. Uh, so uh, the automatically um, uh, done photos and videos shall be better than ever before Sony is telling us but that we have to do in the review so let's wait for that but it sounds all very well especially it's LTE it's NFC uh, and you have uh, that uh, big um, that big uh, memory you can expand so this uh, combination uh, sounds very well but now let's go to the basics especially to that um, picture density uh, because I wanted to show you the following uh, picture over here. So uh, I have um, pulled the um, uh, device to maximum um, brightness. So uh, uh, please uh, do not uh, take care of that uh, uh, some kind of uh, milky uh, um, um, picture over here just please um, watch to the uh, to the sharpness and for that I want to have the um, S3 again over here with exactly the same um, picture the same um, uh, file over here and the same size okay here we go Again, do not uh, uh, watch the, the colors. This is AMOLED, this is LCD, and the contrast and everything. You can adjust all this. Just please watch the, um, uh, the sharpness. And by the way, this video is in full HD too. So uh, if you uh, can uh, and want to, please watch it in full HD. So I hope you can uh, see what I'm talking about, especially if you're watching, let's say, those crosses over here or on the bridge, bridge those um, things, those details over here, they are definitely much more sharper on the S3, which has um, almost half of the pixel density than the um, uh, Xperia Z. So I don't, and it's AMOLED and it's Pentel Matrix. So you just have two um, sub pixels instead of three sub pixels, pixels like on the uh, typical LCDs, like this one over here. So it should be. Uh, uh, worse quality but it isn't uh, I, I don't know I asked Samsung they couldn't tell me how they do that stuff but this is the sharpest display I have seen on the market right now so let's compare this one to the full HD of the uh, Xperia Z and you have to say all right this is not um, sharper um, uh, just the other way around it's less sharp and especially this is not a kind of um, the size of the pictures I've tried it with several uh, pictures and it's almost the same uh, as you can see over here on the, the those hairy details over here it, it's really sharper I hope you can see uh, this one is a little bit um, yeah uh, I don't know how it is, wh why this is the case, uh, but I can just tell you um, that's um, a little bit disappointing. Uh, but by the way, it's a uh, beta quality um, um, device over here. So maybe until the uh, start in uh, Q1, um, the um, Sony Xperia Z will have some, um, some uh, better uh, resolution. Uh, um, uh, yeah. On, on, on that screen over here, I can't tell you, but right at the moment, I have to tell you that it's a little bit disappointing. All right, that's enough for the moment. Um, I guess you have got all the specs and it's coming uh, just like I've said in Q1 and the um, price will be 649 euro.